can tell by the title, today we're going to be putting a water slide decal onto a mug. So it's going to be exciting. First, you're going to need, of course, your, your mug to put the decal on. Um, you're going to need your water slide paper. Special paper, white backing. This is the white water slide. So there's, a, there's the background on it. I like this one because it's the first one I bought and I think it works amazing. So that's what I actually print my decal on. Um, I have my turner, which I'll show you here shortly where I'm going to put my cup so that way I'll be able to place the decal on and have access to my water, which of course is another thing you're going to need, water. And you're going to need some type of basin in order to hold your water in. That way you can soak your decal and also make sure that your mug is moist. Moist. Well, moist. Um, when you're applying your decal, that way it doesn't dry out and get stuck and you're able to move it around and take full advantage of the capabilities associated with water slide decals. So those are the items we need. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this printed and it's on to the next. Nothing girl, I just got through watching the BET Hip Hop Awards for 2020 and I must say I am thoroughly impressed and more and more so I am pleased that y'all know. All right, so once we get our image printed and off the printer, we have to spray it down and seal in the actual colors. Um, this prevents it from running and looking like a hot mess once you put it in the water. What I use to seal my images is this, my go-to for all the things, the triple thick clear glaze. I give it about two or three coats of this and then we'll be ready to actually apply it um, as it was. We'll be able to apply our water sealed decal to our mug. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. Then we let that dry for about 60 seconds, two minutes. We come back and we hit it with another coat. And then it's on to the next step. So now that all that has taken place, we have our water slide decal printed and cut out. So the Cricut basically did most of the work. Um, don't mind these other ones. These are actually for a domino set that I'm doing. I will probably be making a video about that here soon in the near future. But, you know, in order to save paper, we printed them all at the same time. So we don't be wasting no paper around here. So once everything's printed and been cut, we're going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and cut out our decal. I'm just going to leave a thin white line around it just because that's how I like to work with it. Yeah. to be placing her here. It's going to be a tight little squeeze, but we're going to get her on there. So hang out while I reposition the camera and I'll show you how it's done. All right. So here's our turner. Here's our little basin, tin foil pan with the water. Lots of water. Well, not a lot. It's about lukewarm, room temperature type water. Got light on it. And of course our mug. So first thing we're gonna do, put our mug on there. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm gonna just get the area where I want to put the decal a little wet. I mean, the water's just gonna, you know, run off it, so it's not gonna be like soppy, but I definitely wanna have some moisture in there. Then we're gonna take our decal. She's so pretty. And dunk her in the water. She's gonna curl up a little bit, that's okay. We just press it back down make sure she's fully submerged give her a couple seconds you know let the magic happen and then the first thing that I like to do is go ahead and remove that outer layer of white we left so I pull that off and I just check her with my fingers see if I can move her on the paper get her to slide around 
Then I'm gonna slide her down to the bottom, just, just slightly off the edge. Make sure my cup is wet, a little more water. I'm gonna pick her up. Oops, make sure she's not too far off the paper. Pick her up. So she's sliding around on the paper. I'm gonna put her on my mug. I'm gonna find out where I want her to start, probably here, closer to the glitter. And here's the trick of it. Make sure she's still a little wet. And I'm just gonna pull the white sheet from behind her. Just pull that. So, again, that's the joy of the water slide. I'm trying to show y'all so she looks crazy. Um, because it's wet, I can slide it around on my mug till I find out where I want it to go. So I want to make her to be flushed with the glitter in the middle. Add a little more water. Make sure she stays wet because as soon as she dries, she dries. I'm talking hard, stuck to the cup type dry. But once we find it, take my finger. Make sure there's no excess water. Just smooth her out. A little pressure, a little pressure. That way we don't have any water underneath. And this is what we have. So after that, I'd probably let her sit outside. No, it's hot in Texas. Probably about 15, 20 minutes. And she will be dry and good to go. So. Let's do a little bit of time lapse and I will show you the final results. All right, come through, honey, come through. The results are in. You are not the father. Hey, hey. All right, so here is Miss Thang in all her final glory. She is dry. And she is ready to fly. I, I don't know, it just kind of rhymes. But uh, with all seriousness, as far as the water slide decals go, I really don't do anything to seal them. At this point, I would consider her a complete cup. Um, previously, I had used uh, extra fine purple glitter and epoxy on the bottom, so that's sealed in there nice and tight. But she, on the other hand, is Gucci. Do the young kids still say Gucci? I don't know. I'm getting old. But um, there you have it. That's my take on a water slide decal being applied to a coffee mug. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out more. And uh, thanks. See you next time.